Science Central. Besides well-known complications like nerve damage, people with type 2 diabetes also have twice the normal risk of Alzheimer's. So Alzheimer's researchers at San Diego's Burnham Institute tested the effects of diabetes treatments on brain cells. They found that metformin, commonly prescribed to diabetics and those at risk of becoming diabetic, can more than double the production of amyloid beta, or A-beta, the substance that forms toxic brain plaques in Alzheimer's. We believe that this work has probably significant implication in the current medication um, prescribed to the diabetic patient. Francesca Fang Liao and Hua Shi Xu treated brain cells in the lab with metformin and found that alone increased A-beta. However, the effect was reversed when they added insulin. As they wrote in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, they also confirmed the same thing happened in the brains of mice given metformin. If you are a patient with diabetes, you already have higher chances of getting Alzheimer's disease than normal people. If you take metformin alone, this chance is for the increase. But other Alzheimer's experts are more cautious. Southern Illinois University's Gregory Brewer points out that it remains to be seen whether the increased A-beta causes memory problems in the mice. What we don't know is whether those levels were toxic to the, to the brain cells that they were studying. Liao and Xu say those experiments are underway, but add that human studies are already hinting that insulin may reduce diabetics' risk of Alzheimer's. Brad Kloza, Science Central News. Thank you.